when I was young, I spent my days in Changi Airport because my mom used to fly overseas for um, job, and my dad would just take me to the viewing gallery every day, and I just sit there and admire those big metal objects and how they could just take off and float so gracefully in the sky. From that day on, I always thought that oh, you know, I wanted one day I want to fly one of those planes. Uh, for me, what made me want to join the Youth Flying Club was uh, the inspiration I got from my father, uh, who, is, uh, who was previously an F-16 pilot in the Air Force. Yes, so he would tell me his experiences when I was uh, in primary school and also in secondary school. That really got me interested and all I ever wanted to do was follow in his footsteps. That's why I think SYFC was the number one choice for me. Oh, for me, I joined it because um, um, my friends actually introduced it to me and I thought it was a really good opportunity. So yeah, that made me join SYFC. Uh, when I was young, I used to be inspired by fighter jets roaring uh, above in the sky. So when I heard about YFC, I decided to come and check it out as a new experience to uh, further my, uh, develop my flying skills and to provide a platform for my uh, future flying career. Uh, yeah, it has always been my ambition to, since young to join, to be a pilot. And I'm also very curious to want to experience how f real flying experience is like. And I believe that Youth Flying Club um, uh, provides an opportunity for all youth to experience, uh, to fulfill their dream as a pilot. The day I stepped in to sign up just to fill up the application form, I haven't really done my research on SYFC. I didn't know what to expect, what were the rates that people would pass all the way through and get their private pilot's license. I never thought that it would be a, a easy, smooth flowing road and uh, I never thought that it would be so difficult either. The training here will be in two parts. The first part would uh, culminate in the uh, student's first solo. He gets, takes the aircraft up alone. And that would be about 16 sorties, 16 flights, and about 13 weeks of training. Subsequent to that, if the, if the uh, student is uh, able to continue, and the instructors think that he, he will be able to complete the private pilot's license course, that would take about 48 sorties and uh, would take him about eight months. The safety is, is paramount in all our training. Okay, our, our training would be greatly hindered if there are any accidents, uh, anything, if anything happens to any of our students, well, yeah, it would be really heartbreaking for us. Everything possible that I can think of that would ensure the safety of, of, the, of our students will involve into that training. We go through thorough pre-flights. Okay? In every flight, we are judging the students, um, making sure that the students know their work thoroughly. And uh, if the students do not uh, show that they are completely competent, we will not uh, allow them to go out solo. We will uh, make sure that they overcome whatever problems they may have before we even consider uh, sending them up alone. As far as the uh, mechanics of the aircraft is concerned, we do very thorough checks. We make sure that the aircraft is 100% ready for flight. We also monitor the weather very closely, so we take no chances with any of the flights at all. Days when you have really bad flights, they'll tell you what to improve on and they'll encourage you and it helps to pick yourself up. I must say that the instructors have really played a very big part in my life and they've helped to mold me into the person I am today. After I graduated with my PPL, I came back regularly to help out my juniors with mentoring sessions. I learned to give back through my seniors who always came back to help us. The seniors would always help the juniors and we learned from their mistakes what went well, what didn't go so well and try to improve of it. Uh, one of the most important things for me was uh, learning about independence, how to, be, how to take care of myself up, myself up there in the air, uh, especially when I'm flying solo, where there's no instructor for me to, to watch over me. So what I do there is uh, what determines my, my safety in the air. So it's very important for me to look after myself. I think being a pilot, we have learned to be very cool and very calm. Because being, um, by flying a plane, we need to make many decisions very quickly and to plan ahead. So by being very calm and making very good decisions, we can all be very great pilots like we are now. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, one quality that I've learned is to be uh, self-disciplined um, because the learning here in New Flying Club is such that um, there's very minimal spoon feeding and you must go back home and study on your own and do a lot of self-revision. Um, also, when you fly the airplane, you must be, have the self-discipline to follow all the procedures and not to mess around in the plane. Well, for me, I think one of the most important qualities that I've learned over the past years is confidence because by, is the, the aircraft you're flying is by no means cheap. So when you take it up in the air and you are the pilot in command of the, of the aircraft, you better have the confidence to deal with any emergencies that can come your way, have the ability to fly the plane <clears throat> with accuracy and precision, and not to mention the lives of the passengers who are on the plane, who are all counting on you to bring the plane down safely. Apart from the uh, initial academics that, that students would need to have, if you look for a student who is, uh, has a really can-do attitude, okay, who is determined to, to get through the training, absorb whatever hardship that they may have to endure. Okay, he would have to have uh, courage. Okay, he would have to be brave enough or to, uh, to take all the uh, stress, tensions that flying would involve. And uh, eventually he would have to love flying also. The feeling that I get when I'm flying is there's this sense of limitless in the sky where you are free from a lot of boundaries that you get usually when you're on the ground. You can go left, right, up, down, anywhere you want to go. And to think that there's not another soul around you for the next thousand feet is something that we, I really enjoy because I find such peace in flying. Um, I feel very excited during all my flights, especially solo flights, because it's a moment that I have with the plane that is all by myself. And this also gives me an opportunity to prove not only to my instructors but to myself that I'm capable of controlling the plane. And therefore, I feel very excited. When I'm up there, I feel free of worries. I feel acceleration. I feel high, both like physically and emotionally. Um, I feel on top of the wall. And you know, the sky's the limit. Yeah, exactly, that's the feeling. Uh, being up there is a very uh, exhilarating experience because uh, only when the weather is good because uh, you have clear blue skies and everything so you can see the whole of Singapore when you're up there so I think it's a, a very nice feeling, I can't describe it in words. I feel that today I'm a lot closer to my dream than I was back when I was younger sitting at the viewing gallery and honestly I don't think I'd be able to reach my goal without SYFC. SYFC has provided a platform for me to join the Air Force, to be a pilot in the Air Force and to hopefully one day fly a fighter in the Air Force. The training that uh, they have received and the uh, uh, attitudes that they have attained through this course I think would stand them in great stead in a flying career. Okay, uh, I do wish them a very satisfying flying career if, uh, for those who shall be carrying on. Okay, uh, I wish them. I wish that they would have a, a, a career as satisfying as it has been for myself. Okay, uh, maybe one of these days uh, they'll come back back here as an instructor too.